Not much wind on the forecast and as you can see it's like a mill pond out there so I thought I'd have a bit of a walk around and show you guys um, the area like where you can go windsurfing, where are some of the good spots uh, a little bit artificial because obviously there's no wind but you know just thought as I'm walking around I thought I'd show you around Let's start with the lagoon. This is really for the beginner and intermediate kite surfers. So you've got a few kite schools in this area. You can windsurf here when the tide is higher, but I've only really tried once and it didn't seem to have anything special about it compared to the other spots. Next up is what's known as Kamikaze. This is the most open area as you're straight into the Red Sea. I wouldn't really call it a wave spot. You'll usually just get big rolling waves coming through, but they don't really form or break. And as you can see, it's absolutely pumping out there right now. When the tide is up, you can easily sail over the reef. Just don't do it when it's not high tide. Unfortunately, I learned that one the hard way. Sliced it off in the reef. Oh yeah, clean off. Oh, Next up is Baby Bay. This is the spot for the freestylers as it's super flat. If it is a lighter day, it doesn't really work that well as the knee high wall, people, cars, and the guy with a big green trailer block the wind, making it really tricky to get clean wind. The other thing to mention is that you'll get quite a few kiters here, typically are advanced, so shouldn't really be a problem, but you do get the occasional weapon that will take you out if you're not looking. Next up is Speedy. This is probably my favorite spot, especially at low tide, as it's very flat and there's a bit more space than Baby Bay for freestyle. This is really where the majority of windsurfers sail. Slalom sailors, freeride sailors, and freestylers love speedy you'll usually find that the wind surfers in baby bay and speedy are typically intermediate and above as the wind blows offshore so you do need to know what you're doing there are also bits of reef to watch out for which are usually pretty obvious because the water is so clear but the main chunk of reef is right here again you can sail over it at high tide but if it's low only really the freestyle fins can get over it or if you're brave you can go through what is called the keyhole which is basically the gap between the reef and the land the last bit to mention is the sailing area just off the beach from the hotels and the windsurf centers this is usually where the beginners and intermediates hang out because the spit protects you from drifting downwind i found that this area is only really good when it's properly windy as it's more sheltered in here so pretty good for the beginners improvers and intermediates for the advanced wind surfers i've always found it to be gusty and shifty because of all the centers and hotels if the wind is further around to the east than usual it's good for free ride and bump and jump all along here you can see the various wind surf sailing and kite surf centers this is the one that i sail from dahab stars which i'd highly recommend as the guys who run it there are legends and they will help you with everything that you need whichever one you sail out from if you want to get to speedy or baby bay you always have to do a bit of sailing before you get to the spot but it doesn't take long before you're blasting along and loving life let me know down in the comments if dahab is on your windsurfing trip list as always thanks for watching have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video